Hi, I'm Sandy Reese, fundraising coach. I wanted to give you a quick lesson on why you might feel a little uncomfortable asking other people for money. I know a lot of people are very passionate about their organization's mission, and yet when it comes time to asking for help, all of a sudden they just feel like really awkward and uncomfortable. And I wanted to give you in some insight into why that might be happening. So I want you to imagine just a moment all the stereotypes, everything you've ever heard about a used car salesman. What do you think about when you think about used car salesmen? Well, that's how I've heard a lot of people describe to me what they don't want to be when it comes for it comes time to ask for money. That they they don't want to show up as being a pain. They don't want to they don't want to have anybody go like, oh, I don't want to talk to you. And so what happens is they recoil like way too far. So instead of just taking a step back away from that, they go way too far and then they don't ask at all. So let me walk you through an exercise that I actually have done with some clients that's been really helpful for them to understand how far back they've gone and how to come a little bit forward. All right, so I want you to think about, um, for just a minute, let's call it sleazy sales person. So used car salesman like yucky. Ugh. How would you describe sleazy salesperson? And by the way, if you want to grab a pen and paper and jot some of this down, go right ahead. How would you describe it? So this is what I asked clients and here's what they told me. They said, this person is annoying. They said almost annoyingly friend friendly, you know, like inauthentic. In other words, not real. Smiles too much. You know what I'm talking about when somebody's like, hey, come on over here. Let me show you this car. And they're like smiling too much and it's not real and it's really fake. You have radar. Everybody does. You can, you can feel that stuff. You can tell when it's not real and not um, not sincere. They're very self-centered. Everything is all about them, all about the car, all about what is going to benefit them, and it's not about what's in your best interest, right? This is all just a sleazy, slimy, self-centered. It's clear they want something. And what they want is money. It's very clear that that's what they're all about. Um, they may not care about you. They may not care about what your needs are or anything. They're, they're all about them. So they're annoying. They're inauthentic. Smiles too much. Self-centered. We could go on and on with this list, right? Um, they may look kind of weird. They may act funny. There's just something off about them, right? You know who I'm talking about. You've seen this. We've all seen the stereotypes on TV. That's what a lot of us get in our heads when it comes time to ask for money. We're like, I don't want to be this. Well, here, you know what? I don't want to be this either. Nobody does. But the truth is, you're not like this. So let's put you over here on this side. What are you? So just ignore all this for a minute. Let's describe you. Are you real? Yeah, I'm sure that you are. You're a real, authentic person. You probably genuinely care about others and about the mission of your organization. I'm going to bet that you are not manipulative. That's probably one we could have put over here. This person, this sleazy salesperson, probably would do whatever it takes to get the sale. And if that hurts you, then too bad, because they're manipulative that way, right? But not you. You're not manipulative. That's not how you roll. You're probably very passionate about helping others. I bet that that's the whole thing that gets you out of bed in the morning is you're thinking about how you can help somebody today, how you can change lives, how you can save lives. This, this is what drives you. You see, that's real different too, isn't it? I bet you're the kind of person that um, 
you don't necessarily bring things up unless people ask you about it. So you may be a little bit reserved. I bet you're not out there tooting your horn going, look at us, we're the best nonprofit ever. Whoa! Everybody ought to be giving money to us. That's not you. You're passionate about helping others, but that's not how it shows up. You're not tooting your own horn. You're also not pushy. When there's something that you want, you know how to politely ask for it. You know how to get it. You know how to find a way without being pushy, without being manipulative, without taking advantage of anybody. And so I want you to look at the difference now. You might want to add some more words that describe you so that you feel really good that this is an accurate description for yourself. And then I want you to look at the difference between how we described you and how we described sleazy salesperson. Are they the same? No, they're not at all, are they? Actually, they're pretty opposite. This is pretty slimy and well, we don't want any part of that. This is way more solid and centered. This is somebody that we want to help. This is somebody that we want to hang out with, right? So I want you to keep this in mind. Unless you change, you're not going to show up this way. You're not going to show up as sleazy salesperson. I want you to let this stuff shine. Show up as your real authentic self. Let your passion for your organization shine. Ask for what you need help with and watch what happens. You're going to get the help that you need and people are going to be delighted to help you. This is your lesson for today in how to start becoming more comfortable asking for money.